Aloe in Hawaiian means crazy. He lives up to his name. He's such a character. We rounded up a bunch of local Groms. They went out and did like the most over the top toilet paper job at the house that all the Aussie girls were staying in. That's the Koloe that we know. That's the kid that we've seen growing up. He's got a little wild streak, I think. He grew up on tour. He was there. He's seen it all. By the time he made the tour, it was like old news for him. Kolohe had such a brought up bringing with the sponsors and the profile building over there. He's been in the spotlight for a long time, so to keep a level head, I think he's done really well. You know, my first three and a half years on tour, I had my dad and Snips watching me pretty closely. It's tough when you get on the tour at such a young age. With Kaloe, the learning curve was pretty heavy because he had to basically grow up and mature and go through all those things on tour. I wonder if he's on a typical shortboard too for... Oh, look! Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's... It happens. When you're like 17, 18 years old and you're kind of just like stubborn and don't want to listen to anyone. My dad was with me, but he wasn't really coaching me and I wasn't listening to him. And then, you know, I would beat someone and I would be super stoked, just amping. And then when I would lose, it would be like depression. Just don't talk to me for a week. Stuck in my room. Don't want to eat, don't want to move, don't want to breathe. When you spend that much time like that focused on doing good and you don't do good, it's kind of depressing. And so I've seen like his ups and downs and stuff. The results are so important to him that it's most important now that he kind of lets go of the specific result. I mean, and as long as you're learning when you lose, then you're improving. I started watching these guys that, do, that are really successful on tour, and when they would lose, they wouldn't live or die by every result. You know, I've always heard it's not how you win, it's how you lose. I thought it was an old folks tale, but I guess it's super true. As you mature, as a young adult, you understand your friends, your parents, everything better. And it's crazy the old saying that we, we turn out a lot like our parents is, is so true. They all say that I'm just slowly turning into my dad. Ultra competitive. Frothing. Constantly striving to be better. Persistent if I want something. Extremely stubborn. Sound exactly like the same expression. Scruff, big baggy jeans and flannels and things. And uh, I'm a hypochondriac, so. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe is one of the most vicious surfers, I think. He's so competitive, and even when you're practicing, he's always on. For me, I want to beat everyone every session, and I want to be a, a monster and murder everyone in every wave, every section, everything. But for me, the, the biggest thing is my attitude, and I think Snips gets my mindset in a good zone. In Chloe's case, sometimes he'll be too excited for a heat and too amped, and then other times he might go too extreme the other way and try and dial it back too much. So it's just finding that balance. I train super hard and, you know, eat all the right stuff, do all that stuff, you know, whatever. And now the surfing has become a celebration and a relaxation where I go surfing and I go, ah, oh, you know, I'm not training right now or I'm not eating cauliflower, broccoli, it doesn't matter. Beautiful full rail carve in the pocket. The finishing move, tail drift into reverse. You know, when you're in those heats and you're like, okay, you know, two, three minutes left. You just gotta remind yourself that you did the work and that it'll all work out. And if the wave comes and you rip it and you get the score or whatever, then you're stoked. And Dino's gonna try and chase down this number. Out onto the open face, throws the air reverse. A high risk maneuver under pressure. With Kolohe, I kind of think of him as like the San Clemente Prince, you know? His dad obviously being some royalty from San Clemente. I think when you go down to the beach or you're around San Clemente, you realize how many of the little kids absolutely love Kaloe. And he has a time of day for every little grom. He really gets behind all the kids, and, and he's a kid at heart. You know, he's been working, he's been a pro surfer since he was 15 years old. Taj was really cool to him when he was a grom, and he, that stuff sticks. To him, that's the funnest thing in the world, is to take a grom and go surf lowers with him or something. That's like kind of an ideal morning for him. He does that all the time. You know, when I look back at my career when I'm 45 years old and I'm yelling at my kids or yelling at the TV about some football game or something, I just want to look back and go, okay, I did everything I could to be the best that I could be. And, uh, and that's just simple as that.